Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome to a lovely game, a side series if you will, uh, please, a, lo a lovely side series that I'm going to do that's going to kind of kind of me rambling into the aether more than normal, and just talking about things while playing a very chill game, well, what is normally a very chill game. For, any for anybody who doesn't know by looking at the screen what this is, this is the original Katamari Damacy. Well, Damashi. But I'll talk more about the game here and the plan in just a minute. We need to start up a new game for the, lo uh, the lovely opening cutscene and everything. So what is this game, you might ask? Well, from a personal standpoint, I feel I feel like this is Katamari Damacy, the reroll. Well, to, on a secondary effect, is the reroll version. Katamari Damacy is probably when Japan was more okay releasing weird things to the state side. I mean, yeah, there are probably a few outliers here and there, but I feel like Katamari Damacy was definitely the beginning of this. Ah, hello, Prince. This is the King. Long time, no see. We thought today would be a good day for rolling. The Katamari, the Prince. Where the first rolls, the second follows. Roll, roll, roll. For that purpose alone, we went to the bother, the bother of making this space. The king of all cosmos going to bo the bother just for rolling a katamari. Just for that, we went to the bother. So, we would like for you, for you to start rolling, but... But, first things first. But, first things first. Does the prince like vibration? Meaning the moving and shaking? No, no, I hate it. Plain is best. I love going in all natural. If that's what you say, what you what you declare, then you can turn the vibration on and off with the minute button on the controller. All clear? Yes. Oh, good. We shall see you later. So this is tutorial level. Kind of, it kind of helps you to get a feel for the game of how the game should work. So this game is weird in the fact that. The game is this game is weird in the fact that most of the most of how you control it is not with any buttons whatsoever other than selecting things. So you can kind of do various things. Like kind of think of like tank controls more than anything is just if you do stuff like this, you know. Basically, you have your left hand, which you can see me doing on the controller and your right hand. Wow, they, those barely move, do they? Don't they? But you can see exactly what I'm doing on the controller with this. Oh, I can hit the button for next. I thought I had to bring him. My, my, very princely indeed. Such skill and such class. Dazzling. We feel a swoon coming on. Next challenge. Charge and roll, quick turn, look and jump. Careful, careful with the look and the jump. Not easy to do when you're rolling in a hurry. We shall see you later. So, functions that are most beneficial are the quick turn. This, I will tell you that the quick turn is probably the function I use the most in this game. Jump lets you get to get an, get an overhead view of the, of the entire game. Basically of your immediate surroundings if you think you're 
Lost. And Look lets you get a first person look around you if you think you need it. I don't use these buttons at all. Now a function that's in the game. Okay, I need to just be slower with it. Got it. A function that I never really use, but mainly because I I try to do it too fast. Like I try to do like that where I click it really fast. But something that I experimented with just now compared to my first time playing it is you can just do it kind of hap haphazardly and it'll work. Mastered it? Already? For real? Who are you? All shook up. All amazed. Yeah, the king is not allowed to venture the cosmos while inebriated. Anyway. No, it was indeed not a dream. We really did it. The king of all cosmos has really done it. Ask a sky full of stars. We broke it. Yes, we were naughty. Completely naughty. So, so very sorry. But just between you and us, it felt quite good. Not that we can remember very clearly, but we were in all nature's embrace. We felt the beauty of all things and felt love for all. That's how it was. Did you see? We smiled a genuine smile. Did you see? The stars splintering in perfect beauty. So many there used to be. Almost a new uh nuisance? Yeah, I can't I can't speak all words. Now there's nothing but darkness. He tis but a dream. He but a beautiful one. But that miraculous fabulous moment has passed. It's over. We came to and found and found everyone furious. Even the king of all cosmos was not spared their wrath. Really, everybody was irate. So anyway, Pee Wee Prince, hurry up and bring back the glorious starry sky. Our problem, your problem, yes. You owe us your existence. We collect the debt on the debt, yes. Hand in hand, always there, yes. Very definition of the father-son bond, yes. All right then, get cracking. So how do I plan to pace out this, this game? What we did in the first few minutes was more or less tutorial. But what I plan to do for pacing of this game is... I'm going to go into a little bit more probably in the next episode as well. But how, the pacing of this is literally going to be me. I'm going to literally play this game one stage per video. Here we are. Earth. Full of things as usual. Hmm. 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 So, so small. You're as small as ever. You didn't notice, not one jot, with what with the stars and all. What is that? That body, that physique. Could you really be our son? Aha. I've got it. Build yourself up while you row the Katamari. Work out and get bigger. Yes, indeed. Don't presume to take the escalator up to the throne just because you're the prince. Woo. Tangent. First time on Earth means no worrying about time. We think we'll come and pick you up when the Katamari is 10 centimeters. Oh, just remembered. Many things live here, scurrying around and generally getting in the way. When one of these sneaks up behind you, an alert comes up on the lower left. You should try not to bump into anything alive. But don't worry about it too much. It won't end the game or anything, so just relax and roll. Good luck, Inchling Prince. Come down here and say it to my face. So yes, what we have learned is not going to be put to test. It's just the tutorial, still a tutorial stage, but go around, collect stuff. Katamari is, 
like I said, Katamari is very much a drug drip incarnate, so some things that will will be said and uttered will probably make you question things, but that's the alert he was talking about there. So what happens, the game will explain it as well once we get out of this, once we're about to get out of the stage, but basically, roll to your heart's content, but don't leave an area as soon as you can, because nine times out of ten, if you leave an area as soon as you can, what will end up happening is you'll get somewhere where it's going to be almost impossible to increase the size of your Katamari. And like I- oh dang it, well, I just went against my own rules. Would you- Please don't. Anyway, the king will interject here and there. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna overlay and talk about him. I'm not gonna overlay what I say and talk about him, but um, what I should say is the warning he gave about bumping into stuff, you bump into something that is, either, well, in some cases too large, but in a lot of cases is alive and too large for your Katamari to pick up. It'll knock stuff off, as you're seeing happen right here. But the thing I, the thing that I want you to take away from this while we're playing is, we're just kind of here to have a good time with this game. We're not here to go for, well, I'm going to try and go for the collectibles in this game. But you're just here to have a good time with Katamari. You're not here to... You're not here to break bounds and rules and all that jazz. We're done. You're not here to break away from the norm and try and set world records. You're mainly just playing Katamari to have fun. Oh, you made a, te a 10 cent of me to Katamari. Oh, how fabulous. We'd all forgotten all about that. So you're mostly clear on everything, we assume. Everyone on Earth is very nice, so they'll be very helpful, yes? They'll let you roll up. They'll let you roll everything up with a smile. Yes, possibly also wave. Anyway, let's go home for now. <laughs> Delicious. Oh yes, almost forgot. Completely slipped my mind. When rolling on Earth, there are a few more things to be careful of. As I mentioned, you roll into bigger things, things too big for Katamari, it can knock stuff off it, which... It's like a less than 1%, 1 percentile loss of your overall size. But this is what I didn't talk about and I didn't pick up. If you pick up like... For the size we were at, if we picked up a pencil the size we were at, it'd roll awkwardly like you're seeing, seeing here. And basically, you can roll over objects. Now, we're not at this point yet. We probably will get to it with the in the next video or two. But if something alive, if something, if something is alive that is you are able to pick up, you can basically bump into them to knock them over. And then you can pick them up. If you're much larger than the living thing, you just collect them regardless. Also, you have you have a way to get up over ledges as well. It's a little finicky at times, and sometimes it doesn't make sense, but you can get up over ledges. 10.1 centimeters? 10 centimeters? Okay, it's just over 10 centimeters. That's not very exciting, is it? Next time, we want a much bigger one. The thing that you collected, uh, most of it is... My, Earth really is full of things. We will now release it into the night sky. So, what I will tell you at this point here is... Be prepared for weird things. Be prepared for dumb things. Be prepared for the odd. Be prepared for the strange. But also, just prepare to have fun and relax. I mean, I'm going to kind of treat this as... For myself, I'm going to kind of treat this as a... Relaxation and break away from my normal shtick and kind of I might turn this into like a glorified podcast effectively this series I mean what 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 is what let's play isn't at this point but follow me on this thought process was a bit slow too as a parents we cannot feel but we feel partly responsible sigh this is your home planet the planet's where you live here you can look at the stars save the game do lots of other things you can even visit Earth and the Space Mushroom just by pressing the L and R button. Roll your Katamari around the Earth. Visit the Space Mushroom to compete against your cousins. And that's about it. Your smallness. Do you get a grip? Your absent-mindedness. Yeah, this is a very important thing. I think this was an issue with the original PlayStation 2 release and it kind of carried over to this remake, but whenever you're done playing for the day, please, please save. Always be saving. Also, you can turn. You can. This is the base, the main spot where you can turn on and off. Uh, control types, vibration, all that stuff. 
Uh, this tree, well, this tree, we won't, we won't worry about this, but this tree is, this tree here, it basically shows the collection of everything you get in the game. And it will make note of every item you collect. So if you like going for 100%, if you like going for 100% completion, this is where you'll probably be. We're not going for 100% completion, mostly. We're just here to... We're just going to be here to have fun, have a good time, and maybe do a few things. Uh, you can view any constellations you have made, which we'll get to that at a later point. Listen to the, the music of the game. And this will become important probably starting next time. I'll take a moment to go over everything here before we move on. But over here, the Space Mushroom is the Versus mode. Basically... Another cousin has arrived. It's Marcy, isn't it? Well, anyway, these are the princes. These are the cousins of the prince. They, that you can't really use them in the main story mode. Like this, these these cousins here. Oh, I moused over someone. Oh, I was hitting the wrong area. I thought the top of that mushroom was it. So, Kuro. Everybody knows Nick. This one, this one is Nick. Yes, yes, that's Nick. Uh, let me see our other friend down here. Yeah, that's Marcy. Uh, as you play throughout the game, more cousins will arrive, and you can even collect some of the cousins as items throughout the game. But that's a rare occurrence when that does happen, which I think does fit into it. But multiplayer mode in this game is. Just two player. It's a two player versus of sorts. Anyway. And then over here. Well, I hit the wrong button. But over here is Earth. And we will be collecting things on Earth. If you ever want to revisit a stage, you can always go back and visit it. I'm pretty sure Make a Star 1 will always be will always be the same tutorial. Not including the tutorial level. But will also be the tutorial of how to make a Katamari up to X size. Make a Star 2, which we got here. We'll be tackling next time, which will have time limits involved. But anyway, everyone, I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Katamari Damacy. And come back next time when we'll go make another star. I'll see you folks then. Take care.